So I want to teach the chickens that a click means a treat comes. So I've got some yummy mealworms in here. And I'm going to click and then offer them the mealworms. They're only allowed one pack at a time, otherwise they'll get full too quickly. And I'm going to click again and offer her the mealworm. And just like with the dog, this loads the clicker. She's beginning to understand. She hears this noise. She gets one of these treats. She hears this noise. She gets one of these treats. This is Jemima, by the way. She's a, a, an ex factory hen from Mastiff. So I want to start getting her up on the table because this is where I'm going to train them. So I'm going to click and I'm going to pop this up on the table in the middle. That's it for her to eat out of. Now, every time she looks at this white ball, I'm going to click and treat. I'm going to try and train two chickens at once now, so that's going to be hard. Do I have to look at the ball? Yes. In order to get a click and treat. So we don't expect her to click to touch the ball straight away because we're just kind of trying to persuade her what it is she needs to do. So before those little tiny glances are getting it, good. Now she's going much quicker, much further. So eventually I'll be looking to get a pet. Yes, good girl. So now this can only get to it when she pecks the ball. Good girl. Very good. She's been playing in the mud. Kylie, this one's Kylie. So she's gonna have a little processing break. She can go at any time. She can come back at any time. I really don't mind. If they decide to retreat and go inside because it's raining or if they decide they don't wanna play anymore. It's fine, no, no big deal. We'll come back another day. She's back on. She says I want to carry on playing, which is nice. Hello, lovely. Hello, gorgeous. I've got to remember what you're going to do. What have you got to do? So before those sorts of looks were getting our clicks and treats, so we're getting a little bit of an extension first now. If she was really super close up still, I still could treat her, but she wasn't quite harsh, she's in the mirror. Yes. Can you get in it too now, Jemima? Can So you've got to be super quick with the timing. And ideally I want to be treating them right over right over the ball at the moment. So I might have to start training these two separately because we're getting a little bit of um of resource guard in the ball entirely. So she's 
telling command to bugger off, which isn't very kind. Or I could just get two tables and two balls, but... Yeah. So you can see we're beginning to get an increase in frequency in um, the mine was clutching the ball. Possibly go and fetch it. Come on, Kai, you've got to press that thing and then you'll get one. So when we work chickens on the table in a sort of um yeah. in a like workshop environment, it's a little bit more controlled than this. But in a perfect world I'd like to train all chickens like this. Because this way they can opt in and opt out. So they can hop up onto their table if they want to learn, or they can partake in the activities if they want to learn. But there's no real stress here, this is in the environment that they used to. And you can generally get more out of chickens like that. So as you can see, we've got them really nicely targeting the ball now. Good girl. Let's get some more mealworms in a minute. Good. I don't know if you can see that from there. Yeah. It's a bit of a late click. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab the